Hi friends, welcome to Hemant YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn uh, net realizable value. We know inventory is valued at cost or NRV whichever is lower. In the previous videos we have learned what is the meaning of the cost. So we are going to learn net realizable value. Next, net realizable value for finished goods how we calculate and for work in progress how we calculate. For raw material how we calculate we are going to see in this video. See, first of all for finished goods for example parlage biscuit uh, that biscuit how we are going to value the how we are going to calculate nrv we know that nrv nrv is nothing but net realizable value that means if we sold in the market you are going to get this so estimated selling price that is thousand and you are going to incur some selling expenses advertisement expenses or fee distribution this all expenses are there no that estimated selling price this is nothing but the nrv for finished goods okay how we are going to determine this selling price the selling price first preference is some agreement is there for example you said to uh, you said that inventory is there uh, you asked the company uh, that inventory is there how much is the cost then says he said that that already one person came to an agreement that we are uh, he's going to purchase thousand so thousand is the estimated selling price if no one agreed but agreed before the final before approval of financial statements that is before approval of financial statement events so sale agreed before approval of financial statement I, I think let me explain for example 31st March is there and approval is 150 uh, 150 you think first May you think uh, a person came to you and said that I am going to purchase this inventory for 900 so 900 is the estimated price if goods are not sold if goods are not entered that company not entered to sell any goods of that inventory it is fair estimation given by the management that is nothing but a selling price outside so at the end of the fina let us say an example at the end of the financial year Company P has 100 units of inventory on hand recorded at a carrying amount of rupees 10. It says that uh, company P and uh, has the inventory uh, 100 units and uh, cost carrying cost is 10 rupees per unit and the current market price is 8 rupees per unit. It says that current market price is 8 rupees per unit and the company P has a, a sales contract with Q to sell 60 units. He says that out of 160 units we are going to sell 100 per 11 and uh, which cannot be settled net and estimated incremental selling cost is rupees 1 unit per unit how we are going to value this inventory so we know that uh, when finished goods are there NRV is estimated selling price minus estimated selling expenses here estimated selling price is uh, how much is the estimated selling price for 60 units 11 because we have entered into the agreement minus estimated selling 1 so this is 10 for 60 units and whereas this 40 units we have not entered into any agreement so take 8 8 minus 1 7 so the cost is while performing NRV the NRV of 60 units is 60 into 10 and remaining is 40 units into 7 and this is for finished goods whereas for work in progress for example the uh, biscuit is uh, not produced on 31st March it is partly produced how we are going to calculate the work in progress estimated selling price minus estimated selling expense this is nothing but NRV of finished goods from that we are going to reduce how much cost we are going to we should incur additionally estimated cost of complete this is nothing but cost for example uh, estimated selling price NRV of uh, finished goods is 100 and you still incur still you should incur 40 rupees 60 rupees is work in progress okay so the formula is estimated selling price of finished good estimated selling price and a cost of complete so NRV of work in progress 
let us see an example on march 31st a business firm finds that cost of a partly finished ute on the date is 530 and 530 is the cost of a partly finished good this unit cost is 530 and this unit can be sold in the market uh, uh, and this unit can be finished by an additional expenditure of 310 and this unit can be sold in the market for rupees 750 on payment of 4% brokerage selling price here nrv is 750 from that you reduce 4% selling expenses from that you reduce a cost to complete that is 310 this is in nothing but net realizable value and the the firm is seeking that the amount at which the unfinished goods shall be valued this is nrv and the cost is 530 cost or nrv which or is lower so the desirability of otherwise of producing the finished goods let us see uh 750 4% of uh, 750 is 750 into 4% 30 and the additional expenditure is 310 so total net realizable value is 30 minus 310 that is 410 and the cost is 530 we know 530 or 410 which or is lower so 410 as a uh, 410 visual value so 410 is partly finished goods 410 is the cost of uh, per unit and when it comes to raw material if finished goods in raw material will be incorporated is expected to be sold greater than cost of finished goods for example you have incurred 100 rupees of finished goods but in the market it is 120 greater than 120 then value at the cost i think uh, i will explain once more suppose this is uh, which and uh, from this you produce a biscuit for producing this uh, you incur 100 rupees you think okay but outside uh, you are going to sell at 120 120 is the market price so if the uh, if finished good in which raw material will be incur is expected to be sold greater than 100 that means 120 greater than 100 sorry 120 greater than 100 it's uh, this raw metal this wheat price shall be valued at cost for example same you have incurred 100 rupees cost for producing one unit but in the market it is only 90 if cost is greater than market price then that raw material this raw material shall be valued at replacement cost so let us see an example you are limited purchase raw metal at rupees 400 per kg company does not sell a raw metal but uses in finished goods of production the finished goods in which raw material is used are expected to be sold at below cost at the end of the company is having 10000 kg of uh, uh, material in inventory it says that uh, it purchased the 400 and it is it will not sell any raw metal it uses in the production and it has uh, 10000 as inventory as a company never sells the raw metal it does not know the selling price of the raw metal and hence cannot calculate the realizable value of the raw metal for valuation however the replacement cost of is 300 so uh how we value how will value whether we have to value at 400 or whether we have to value at 300 see they have given one the finished goods in which are expected to be sold below cost that means if a cost is 100 selling price is 90 in that case we have to value the raw material at replacement cost so uh, 10000 into 300 is a cost is the price is the value of the inventory So this is if you like my video please subscribe share and thank you